what's up everybody welcome back to my channel i'm raven maureen and today i'm coming to you from a different corner of my sewing room it has no true meaning except for i'm just trying out this angle <laughs> but anyway let's get into why you're really here today um, i'm here to show you guys some really nice winter fabric or fall and winter fabric that i picked up recently uh, just last week from Hobby Lobby. By the way, if you know anything about where I live, you know that I am in a fabric desert. So Hobby Lobby and Joann's are kind of my only two choices in town. And if I'm being honest, I wasn't really wowed by anything that I saw on any online stores. So this is what I got. Also, if you're new here, I'm Raven Maureen and I am a sewing content creator, small business owner, and a Nomi pattern designer. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my favorite fabric that I picked up. This is a black, almost like a shiny faux leather pre-quilted fabric. I got four yards of this. Um, I think I want to make, or not I think, I know I wanna make a quilted jacket with this. I'm not sure which one. There's a lot of great patterns out there. I'm kind of leaning towards either Norris's puffer coat pattern, um, and I think I talked about this in a previous video where I said if it's pre quilted, I would actually consider making it. Um, the other pattern I'm thinking about too is um, Kichi B Styles new pattern with Nomi. Um, it's like a quilted vest and this would be really cute with it. Um, so those are my two options that I'm kind of leaning towards. But can we talk about also how this fabric reminds me so much of Missy Elliott. <laughs> anyway, um, if you're a 90s kid and you grew up in the 90s and you love hip hop, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, so this is what I got. Oh, and can I tell you guys, the fabric cutting lady, she was like, yeah, someone was looking at this the other day and they like thought, oh, this will be, this will make a really cute bag. So I was like, so instead of getting three yards, I got four because she sold me on the idea of making a bag. <laughs> She's really good at her job. Okay, I'm just gonna like cut the crap and just put, put the whole bag here because I did a lot, I spent a lot. Um, so right at the very top is this really gorgeous um, plaid fabric and y'all, this was 40% off $6.99. And me and the lady at, lady at the cutting table, we were like, it's $6.99. I was like, it is $6.99. She's like, and it's 40% off $6.99. I was like, this is true. <laughs> this is very true. So um, I got four yards of this. So you guys are gonna be very, very, very excited about my sewing plans for this. So I am actually going to be making my husband Joe a shacket from this fabric. And I decided that I am also going to do a sew along for Simplicity Pattern 9388, which is the extra, extra famous shacket pattern. I have made this pattern twice. Um, I've made the long version. I've made like the hip, uh, hip length version. And the first time I made it, I did a pattern review and I'll link that down below. But ever since I did the pattern review, which was like maybe two or three years ago at this point, every single season that the shacket comes back around, I get questions either on here or on Instagram, like, are you gonna do a sew along? Can you please do a sew along? So I looked it up. There's quite a few sew alongs out there for this pattern. Um, but because I get asked this question so much um, and because now I also have an excuse to make another shacket, I will be doing that sew along for you guys and this will be Joe's Christmas present. So you guys actually will get to see me make his Christmas present. And by the way, he does know about it because I have another wool type fabric and I was like, I want you to choose between this wool or this one. And he chose this one, which I'm really glad he chose this one because this one's really cute, so. Okay, so the next one is just like a basic black broadcloth. Um, I bought six yards of this and I might need to go back and get more. I don't know yet, but I bought this because I want to finally get into Nomi Pattern ME 2016. And if you know the story with me in this pattern, you know that I pull it out 
probably every month for sewing plans and I'm like I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it okay so my hang up with this pattern was I could never decide what fabric I wanted to use with this as far as like a print and stuff because the dress does have one a lot of volume and it does involve a lot of fabric so I was like I don't know if I can commit to a print that I want all over this dress so um I say all that to say that I have seen quite a few different versions of this type dress not necessarily this pattern but this type of dress in black and I was like I think I cracked the code <laughs> <laughs> so my idea is that if I make this dress black one not only will I probably wear it a little bit more um, but two I think the volume will make me feel less self-conscious so like mixing the color black with the really voluminous dress right I think that'll make me even more inclined to wear it more versus choosing a print that could honestly exaggerate certain features on my body that I may not be looking to exaggerate or even um, overemphasize how short I am and so in an effort to appear a little bit more proportionate I think or I know I'm gonna do the black or the dress in black so I'm very excited about this and I can't wait to finally get started on it um, because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun all right, so then I also picked up this, um, it's like an off-white sweater knit, and I want you guys to get a look at this texture. It's like a checkered type texture on there. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> um, and I love it, it feels really soft. Um, I just like the weight of it. I wanna do some sort of cardigan or sweater with it. Definitely like an open front cardigan. Um, not necessarily one that's like, you know just a closed in sweater so um, I picked this up I got two yards of it and I definitely can't wait to get into this as well okay so I did get some black twill um, I am stuck between a number of different jumpsuits as far as um, the black twill um, I'm trying to figure out do I want to do like a vintage style um, jumpsuit do I want to do like a really like very like utility style jumpsuit like a boiler suit um, or do I just want to make like a bottom like a pants with this not necessarily like my pants pattern but maybe like a cargo pant cargo pants are still having their moment and so um, I thought maybe like the black with like white top stitching might be nice but I also thought about how how really hard that will be and how I will drive myself crazy trying to perfect the top stitching because it's just going to stand out so i've got a couple of things in play in my head with this um so hang tight i i bought three and a half yards of this and it's about 60 inches so i do have quite a bit it like the amount that i got really like pretty much presented a lot of options to me i knew i wanted to do pants and then i started looking at jumpers and boiler suits and i was like hmm that could be another option so we'll see hang tight I don't know yet which one I want to do okay so I did get some black poly satin um, and I know I'm heavy on the black this time that was not intentional I just think that I, I think I was just drawn to a lot of black fabric this time around so I mean it's the winter you know so I feel like I get a Pasco on that but um, I want to make another bias skirt when I was talking about my hot pink bias slip skirt last week, I was like, I really need another one of those. <laughs> and I think if I make a black one and do like um, some combat boots with it or even just like a cute little Chelsea boot with it, I think that'll be really cute for the holidays. Pair it with like a nice black turtleneck and I'll have like a really nice low key Christmas party look or something. Um, usually around this time of the year, we do get invited to a quite a few different Christmas parties and so it's always nice to just kind of have things ready to go in your closet whether you get you know invited out or not it's it's just always nice to have or hey even a cute little hot date you know what I'm saying <clears throat> y'all don't come for me with this one that's all I'm gonna say don't come for me because you know 
you know that I like a certain type of print and I consider this print a neutral and um, I'm just gonna show you guys leopard surprise surprise right so I picked up this leopard um, so let me explain to you guys I know you guys are like again with the leopard raven so I um, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you why I picked up this leopard so this last month or so um, I don't know if you guys know this the sewist in our community her name is Chris she goes by on social um, on here on YouTube and on Instagram and so she reached out to um, maybe like 16 or 18 um, fellow creators in the community and was like I want to do a secret Santa idea and um, all of us pretty much were like without hearing much of the details we were like we're on board so we're all in this group chat and she's like hey um, you know here's the idea for secret Santa so the concept is and you have to have an even number of people to do this the concept is is that you get a secret Santa and the secret Santa creates a sewing mood board for you and so um, I created a sewing mood board for someone and someone has created one for me and I don't know who this person is and the person that I created their mood board for doesn't know who I am either and so on my mood board I'm gonna put it up of course they had leopard um, and they had some other little things on there too like red lips sunglasses um, black and red and you guys have overwhelmingly told me that um, I look great in red and I appreciate that <laughs> but um, I say all that to say that the idea behind having the fashion mood board is to take a handful of those ideas and make them into a cohesive idea and then present it um, and then you know take pictures and do adult show and tell and all that stuff um, so I picked up this leopard fabric because I am going to make potentially <laughs> a quilted jacket from this. So I am going to do the quilting lines on it with some batting and kind of give that idea that it's been quilted, but I don't plan on like making individual squares or anything like that. So I'm leaning towards Donnie's new Nomi coat. Um, but it's possible that I may leave the scarf off of it and uh, make it oversized and, and whatnot. I really like the buttons. I really like the curved hem and I believe it's a raglan sleeve as well. So those were some things that really drew my eye to Donnie's pattern. So I bought about six yards of this because again, I wanted it to be oversized. No, wait, I think I bought four yards. Either way, I bought this. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm really excited about the Secret Santa. Um, the secret Santa uh, thing that we did and we have two months to make the outfit we got our boards on the 15th and we pretty much have until like December 15th to share our looks so um, I'm excited for um, the person that got my the mood board I created for them I'm excited to see what they pick and um, I'm excited to to make something else with leopard um, what's interesting though is that I already have like three leopard coats um, <laughs> two of them I've made and so to make a third one I'm like okay <laughs> I'm like I'll, I'll do that that's fine so um, I'm excited because I, one I do love leopard and two um, yeah I'm excited to be creative and and whatnot all right, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video today. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.